Hey guys, it's Lena Blake from Redefine Horizons, and I wanted to do another short video on Pipe Drive, which is the CRM we're learning how to use here at Redefine Horizons. And this video is for my CRM gal, Vanessa. So, uh, what I want to show here is how a pipe works, and what we're actually going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to customize a couple pipes for the type of uh, business development that we do here at Redefine Horizons. So, if you go to your home drive, Sorry, your home page on Pipe Drive. Uh, you're going to get their default pipe. And um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to edit that pipe. So, and we're going to call this. Uh, so, I'm going to have three pipes. So, I'm going to call this the in person pipe. Okay. And then uh, we're going to have a couple more pipes. So we're going to go ahead and add those now. Oop. So we're going to say, uh, then we're going to have a pipe just for LinkedIn. So we're going to have our LinkedIn pipe. And then we're going to have one more. And this is going to be the uh, I'm going to call it the cold lead pipe, and you'll see why I'm calling it that here in a minute. Okay, and, a, and a, one thing that makes us a little bit different is uh, we're using these pipes uh, more to track our touches and interactions with our clients or potential clients than we are specific deals. Um, we're going to do repeat business with most of our clients. This is really set up for organizations that have a, you know, they're making a single sale typically, uh, these pipes. So we're, we're going to change this. It's going to be a little bit different. So let's go ahead. We'll start with the LinkedIn pipe. So once you choose your pipe from the drop down list, you can hit this pencil here to edit it. And so uh, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to edit these phases. Okay. So uh, where it says lead in, what I'm going to say is uh, contact identified. Okay. Then I'm going to say uh, request for connection made. Okay. And then we're going to say um, contact followed. So uh, if they uh, let's say uh, let's say uh, connection made. Uh, connection accepted so they accept our request to connect we're going to say uh, connection followed so we want to follow our connection uh, then we're going to say uh, initial outreach made okay, and we're going to have some specific things that we do here okay, and then we're going to have uh, follow-up made and uh, actually I'm gonna we might do this twice so I'm gonna say first follow-up made and then I'm gonna say second follow-up made okay and then uh, I don't really need this prob probability here so we might uh, we might change that. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to go ahead and save those changes. And now you can see those changes have been made here in our pipe, right? So uh, that's a good thing. You can also view this as a list, too. But I like the Kanban view myself, OK? So let's just say we've got a new contact that we've We've, so we've identified somebody on LinkedIn and we want to go ahead and add them here. So we're going to use that previous example. So we're going to say that we've identified Maria Hernandez and she's with the Little Johns Creek whoop, Real Estate Company or Real Estate Investments. That's the name of the company. Okay, And uh, we're not going to assign to deal value or close date because that doesn't really apply. So when we save that now you can see uh, her card pops up and we can actually watch her as she moves through the different stages. So the next thing we're going to do 
After we have identified her and done a little bit of research, is we're going to go ahead and request a connection. That'll be the next. Uh, that'll be the next step in the phase, and you can just move these cards over from phase to phase. All right, guys. So I want to show you how to add a. We're going to add a couple custom fields to that pipe we just made on the in the deals. So just as a reminder, when we're on the deals page, I've got this LinkedIn pipe set up here with some stages specific to LinkedIn. And what I want to be able to do when I pull this up is I just when I uh, come over here to the details, I want to be able to. Uh, add some details here and be able to see those uh, that are specific to this pipe drive uh, this pipe for LinkedIn so to do that we're going to come over to settings and you have to be an admin user to do this and then we're going to go to custom custom fields here and we want to make sure we've got the deal deals tab up and we want to add a deal field we're going to say text for this one and the first thing I want to say here is we want to add the LinkedIn profile URL and we're going to say LinkedIn connection profile URL because we're going to do another one. And uh, so let's add another one. And we want this to be LinkedIn organization URL. Okay, so that's going to be for the company that they work at. So you can see those are popping up here now. And uh, we do want to show those in the add new dialog, and we do want to show them in the view. Okay, so once we have that done, we want to go ahead and we'll go back to the deals page and we'll, we'll see this. Okay, and actually I, I'm going to change this name too. So I'm just going to give this the name of the person. So this is Maria Hernandez. Okay, that's the contact on LinkedIn. And now you can see right here, we can go ahead and add her URL for her organization and for her uh, connection her uh, LinkedIn page for her organization and her actual LinkedIn page. Um, and then those will show up here so we can link to them anytime, which is pretty handy. Okay, So you can add whatever uh, information you want to the to the details here. Um, and so that might, you know, some of that stuff is going to be specific to the pipe. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys how to do that. Let's go ahead and we'll go in and customize our other, uh, one of our other pipes here. So let's go ahead and customize our in-person pipe. So this is going to be somebody that we meet at an event, uh, typically. So it could be conference or a business meeting. And so let's go ahead and edit this pipe. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, we want to rename this stage. Okay, so we're going to say this is... Uh, we're going to say event introduction. So that's when we first meet them. And then we're gonna. Then we want to say uh, we want to do some research on that. Uh, we want to do two things. We want to research the individual. Say person. Person research. And then we're gonna say organization research. So we're going to do some research on the person, their career, and on the actual organization. Okay. Then we're going to attempt to connect to them on LinkedIn. So we're going to say LinkedIn connection requested. Okay. And then we want to say uh, email or phone call follow up. We're going to say, we'll just say first, and then we'll say second email or phone call follow up. Okay, and then we don't need this stage. Okay, I'm going to add a stage here, and we don't have a lot of control over this, but we're going to add a stage here, and we're going to call it uh, assistance rendered, because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to really help people. Say assistance given because it's a little simpler. Okay, they've got this thing down here that's called rotting in days. So you can turn this on and say, hey, uh, you know, after the event introduction, how many days do I want to uh, wait before I do my research? Okay, and we're going to say, uh, man, I'm going to give my marketing people uh, two days to do their research and uh, 
on the person in the organization and then same thing two days we should reach out to LinkedIn and then I'm gonna say man in in five days uh, we should have made our first email or phone call to them and we'll say hey we'll give them another week ten days second I'm not gonna put it here on assistance given because we don't really have any control on that it's gonna depend somewhat on uh, when that person reaches out to us for help, but then we can save that. Okay, and here's what that pipe is going to look like. So we can just, for example, add, uh, we'll use that same name. So Maria Hernandez. Okay, so we can save that. Okay, so now that's going to come up. Okay, and I just thought of another field we want to add. So let's go in and we'll add one more custom field and then I'll, I'll uh, end this video. So we'll come into custom fields. Okay, and I'm going to add a field, uh, this time not to the deal, but I want to add to the people. Okay, so I just want to know uh, this is going to be a single option. Okay, and so what I want to know is, is this person a subscriber? So we're going to say yes, no. We'll give an unknown to. Okay, and name, name of the field, we're going to say RH subscriber. So we just want to know are they subscribed to one of our newsletters. Okay. And uh, there you go. Let's. Uh, I'm going to add one more to people here. And what I want is a multiple option field. And we're going to say uh, we're going to add two. We're going to see resources downloaded. Okay. And then we're going to let them check the resources they can download. So we're going to say uh, plan title survey fac record of survey fac. We're going to say land title survey table A guide. And we're going to say uh, three questions you should ask for your buyer. Okay, So these are all resources we're going to have. So we're going to add those. I'm going to actually add one more. Uh, multiple options. And we're going to make this for our subscriptions. So we've got California Supremes on land and water. We've got the CCLM magazine and we've got On Point magazine. And then we've just got a regular client newsletter people can sign up to. And so we're going to, oop, this is going to be subscriptions. And we're going to save that. Okay. And uh, we do want to show these in all the views. Okay. So let's uh, let's go see what that looks like. So now, if we come back to deals, and uh, we click on Maria. Okay, they should be setting up here. I'm not sure why they're not. I might have goofed on something. Let's see if they're there. Uh, I didn't save them, so let's do one real quick. We'll do it again. Uh, don't do what I just did. So what we want to know is, um, are they a subscriber? So that's going to be simple. Yes, no, unknown. Okay, and this is going to say, are they an RH subscriber? Okay, and we'll add one more. So uh, again, multiple option. And uh, this is uh, our subscription. So we have California Creams on land and water. We have uh, CCLM, Cal California Central Land Magazine. And we're going to have On Point Magazine. And then we're just going to have our regular client newsletter. Okay. Oop. And we're going to call this subscriptions. We're going to put our YouTube channel on here too. Okay, save that. Okay, and I don't know why those didn't save. They're on here now. Okay. So let's just see if they saved. Okay, it looks like they saved now. So let's go back into our deals and see if they pop up. Yeah, so now they're uh, they're popping up, so we can say, hey, uh, 
she uh, subscribes to our two kind of technical publications and uh, so yes yeah, she is an RH subscriber okay so now we've got some information here about Maria okay all right guys that went a little longer than I wanted but just wanted to show you some stuff on pipe drive so appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll probably do some more we'll do some more videos on pipe drive thanks